The following program was produced or sponsored by a community member. The content, views, and opinions expressed are the sole responsibility of the producer and do not reflect those of Malden Access Television, the City of Malden, or Comcast. MATV welcomes your comments. Call us at 781-321-6400 or email us at access at matv.org. Don't record as soon as it goes to white because I called your name. Oh, okay. Right. Are we on? Welcome back, Marlins sports fans, to another season of the MNBL, Marlins Neighborhood Basketball League. I am the host of Duds, the Nesta Dudley, waiting for waiting for Brad with Benton, who's always representing, looking for parking space outside as we got a full house today with both the MNBL games and church services down the hallway. And Andy Robinson representing the Laker coaching staff. That's right, I said Andy Robinson representing the Laker <laughs> coaching staff. This is not a bizarre world. There has not been a rip in the space-time continuum. This is the planet as we know it. And we have our first cable cast game of the 20 art season the 0 and 1 Celtics up against the 0 and 1 Sixers. The Celtics let a game get away from them last night. Non televised game. They lost to the Hawks. Celtics did not show up in the second half. They let a game slip by. Meanwhile, the Sixers, they got slaughtered by the Bullets yesterday. They didn't just get slaughtered, Brad. Uh, that's just, they got manhandled. Everything the Bullets wanted to do with this game, they did yesterday. The Sixers won the tap. And I do not have my rosters on me, so I'll just be referring to as numbers for most of these players that I do not know. And some players, I'll say their names, and I'll probably be wrong. I do know that number five for the Celtics is Atlas Sertle, three years senior, Malden High. Driving the lane and good defense. And LaFosse, can LaFosse lead in the break? Didn't look at the net once. Here's a, here's a, Celtics are coming out with the press. Celtics coming out of the press. Boy, is that a surprise. Huh. Hey, that ain't the truth. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Who did? Magic's telling his guy, he's begging his guy to look up. Look up. But what, but what Coach Magic feels to realize is that if the guy looks up, he's not going to be able to dribble because he's obviously looking at his dribble. So he looks up, he can't dribble. Magic looks like he needs a bucket right about now. And Sir, oh, Sir, blew the layup. We're gonna have a layup. You know who number 40 is, uh, Nesta? What number you said? Number 40. Who's number 40? What team? Um, Alan Tam. The Celtic team seems to be playing the same way they did uh, last uh, night on the offensive end of the, like they did in the second half because they are not moving the ball. No, that was under the glass. We're still waiting for our always late, but never, you know, unappreciated Brad Worth Benton. Boom. Today you will hear me take many, many shots at 
where some of his comments on around the rip he made towards one evil Andy. Another blown bunny. Press broken and a foul. And what we haven't touched upon yet is that this is going to be the first. This is the first meeting of coach, head coach Magic, going against head coach Cliff Williams. He he asked to be released out of his Celtic contract so he can go and coach the Sixers. I'm talking about Cliff Williams. Cliff Magic said that Cliff Williams begged for the release. No, from what I heard. Magic was just, you know, they had different coaching philosophies. What it was, there was two coaching egos that just could not coexist any longer. And Cliff was sick of, you know, not getting any credit for any public success the past two years. Rashawn Vaughn back hanging. Easy two. Rashawn Vaughn makes three quick points for the Sixers. Adam Sterling makes a second layup. Yeah. That's how it was yesterday, Nestor. He plays this layup in the, first, in the second half. LaFosse. That was ugly. LaFosse sort of went strong to the hole and used the glass. But two points is two points. Joe and Magic are about to lose their mind over here. I'm thinking of three letters. Are you thinking of three letters? Well, he's a rookie, so you got to give him a break. Although he did play yesterday, he should have known. What league have any of these kids ever played in where they just went in? You always check in at the score table no matter what level you play on. Unless you don't keep score. And that, of course, you don't. LaFosse got away with steps. He was strong, but he didn't use the backboard. No, I don't. Oh, press broken. One hell of a baseline move. Rashawn Vaughn missed the layup. You got to give it to Rashawn Vaughn to be opening second. He's taking that hard slip. He's breaking that press. Tap off of the Littles, of, a, of a Louis Pusians. Where, where are the Lily puts? And Magic called the timeout, which I knew was coming. He has to be disgusted. <clears throat> With three minutes and 28 ticks left to go in the first, the Sixers have a one-point lead over the Celtics, seven to six. Sixers are playing a different style ball than they did yesterday. They're playing a team basketball game, they're playing good defense, and they're forcing the Celtics to make mistakes right now. Meanwhile, the Celtics have come out in the press. The press has been broken three times. Three out of five times. It's time to, in my opinion, back up off that press. I have word that they haven't even gone over the press during practice yet. They used it yesterday. It yeah, they just, they, they, just they just drew it in there. When they used it yesterday, when they initially put the press on yesterday, it worked. What they should have done, they should have just kept that press on for the first couple of 
possessions, stole the ball, which is what they did, and then back up off that press. That's what they should have done because what the Hawks did afterwards, they went to a timeout, they drew up a press breaker, and then they were breaking the press for the rest of the game. Well, Sean's already through. They need to take the press off now. Sean is breaking through it. Two times in a row. They just found a way to cut through the press like butter. All by he loves him. They're still in the press. Oh. oh. He keeps on getting. That, oh, that's, that's a double dribble. He they got away with a double dribble yesterday, too. Coach does not look happy. Well, for one thing, that was a double dribble. We seen a double dri we seen a double dribble in yesterday's first game between the Lakers and the Pistons. I don't remember the Pistons played that double dribble, but he clearly double dribble. It was like in the same spot. My good grandmother called it that double dribble. That's double, so blatant. Double dribbleage. And Cliff Williams was saying double dribbleage. But the ref, the men in the black and white striped shirt wasn't trying to hear that. Cliff Williams, Cliff Williams is trying to tell you, hey, you're lucky, you're lucky. Why is Matt Emanuel bringing the ball up court anyway? Well, you look on his squad, he's probably the best handler on that squad. Oh, shit. The, the, the short guy, I can never remember his name. He played last year. He's got good handle. And Rashawn Vaughn has broken the press already a couple of times, so... Look at that. that kid to hold the ball. Oh, wide open. That was a good pass. Nice no look pass. They go, they just broke the press easily again. Oh, LaFosse wasn't set. LaFosse wasn't set. And there's Magic Riviera making yet more excuse of how his team not properly put the press on. That is seven, six straight points. Oh. What teamwork. Oh, but he blows the bunny. Oh, uh, that was, no, that was Mike McQuaddo. That was Mike McQuaddo. That was nice transition. He blew the bunny. Yes, he did. Is he a rookie? <laughs> yes, he's a rookie. Well, that explains it. That's it. Every single time. They're letting him come right down the middle now. He's got to shut down the middle. And they took the ball over that man one. This game may be getting out of hand now very quickly. That is the fourth straight, the fifth straight possession they've scored on. Three seconds ago, it was seven to six. Yes, fans. About a minute ago, actually, it was seven to six. And now, two to nine. Knocks down the free throw. Three-point play. Oh. Oh. And they had to look up. He's all by his lonesome. There you go. Give it a heave. Matt. That's all he had. To, all they had to do was look up. That was Emmanuel. Matt Emmanuel. He's grown into one of my favorite players. Are they both pressing? Here comes Brad with Benton. Yeah, they're both they're both pointing on what are close semblances of a press, but yes, they both are. Ben, did you find a parking spot within a mile of here? I did. Everyone else has left, well, and I have good. arrived to the building. Exhausticated. I felt like a taxi. <laughs> now, I get extra pay for that, right? I should get an extra payday for that? Good. It's not coming out of my pocket. That's, well, yeah. We'll double your day's pay. All right. Wait a minute. I ain't getting a dollar. Believe it or not, Damn Brad, it. this game a few minutes ago was a 7-6 to six Sixers lead at about 3 minutes and 38 seconds in this game. So That's people found quarter. the offensive bug. Yep. 
That's good. His, his pants are hanging. They both have sloppy presses right now, though. Tell Droopy to pull up his pants, 22. Droopy, George. You don't have a roster there, do you, Nesta? No, I don't. I, as I said on the art set, I said, I don't have a we roster. We know some of these guys' names. Some of them. I said I'm unprepared. Well, 22 is Eric Ribeiro. That's Matt. Ooh. Throws it away. Almost gets it back. Drew Weiner, I'm all left. And that's what he does, all left. Sean Vaughn's gonna take it strong. That was he awful. He had the light and he stopped. I don't know why he did that. Sirdler's going to the hoop. Adler trying to get his. 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Matt Emanuel, the big man who can handle the rock. You know what I see the notes about this match meeting? It was pointed out today in a coaches meeting I attended. Ooh. This Celtic team has no Haitian players except one. Just one Haitian player. Then that would mean they have a Haitian player. Well, they have one. I'm sorry. All right, so rephrase <laughs> what you said. They have one Haitian player. Let's, course, let's keep ethnicities and personalities out of this. <laughs> Over the back. Oh, that was a hard one. I guess that was a design play by Magic. He said, good way to run that. That was the 721-B play. It's for, hey, specifically for Adler to throw it at the rim. Oh, okay. And for Drew to come from the three-point line to get the rebound. To the small hole? Correct. Yes. 1732 dash b So remember that play. The hyphen's after the B. Automatic. <laughs> It's both free throws. Ribeiro to Rashawn Vaughn. Trying to get his. Inside for LaFosse. And a travel. big travel. Oh. Cliff Higgins is Cliff and, Williams. I'm and sorry. Cliff Williams just yelled, call a foul. Call a foul. Okay, swing it back, swing it back. Seven seconds. Stay in the action. Wide open. Oh. Wide open. Who's man on drainage? That was John Cronin. Skinny John Cronin drains it. Adler Sertle trying to set up an offensive play with three ticks. <laughs> He's in. <laughs> Which would have been that bad if he did, but he walked up trying to, he trying to get people in position. He only had three ticks, Brad. At the end of the first quarter, we have a Celtics 22-13 lead over these Sixers. That's on pace for 88. 88 to what? Uh, 40, uh, 2 Yeah. That's a I'd, big, that's a big difference. It is. That's not good for the... <laughs> 9 times 4 is 36. That so would be a 36 point difference. What the hell are you trying to embarrass me? I don't know a damn thing about math. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just, he's the numbers, man. I forgot you were not going to have to I go by the numbers. He knows the numbers. <laughs> when you ask him that's a combined score of, he's the one. Don't ask me. Hey, you got 88. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. Maybe because it was twos, it was easier. Yeah, I know my twosies. So speaking of twosies, we're in the second quarter. I have missed most of the first quarter. Of each one of these teams' second game, we talked yes. about how they are both 0-1 coming into this game. Yes, and the Sixers lost to who? The Bullets. The Bullets. They got thrashed, I heard. Yes. A royal thrashing. It was a manhandling. And the Celtics lost to the Hawks. I heard they had them, and they lost by like 10, 12. The Celtics, did, the Celtics didn't show up in the second half. They took it off. Oh. That was a near travel. The Celtics are pressing again. Oh, you, you missed. That's a nice move right there. There goes Josh McCown. Is that Josh McCown? Ken LaFosse was there to clean it up. You missed one of the that was Josh. Joshua McCown, yeah. Not from the Arizona Cardinals, Josh McCown? Or St. Louis Cardinals? Does he still play? Oh, he has steel. Oh, yeah, he's a starting quarterback. Oh, look at that drive right there. Oh, is he the one who replaced, um, what's his face? Kurt Warner? Not Kurt Warner, the other guy. Yeah, it happened for Warner who replaced Kurt Warner. What's his name? No, Kurt Warner took it back. 
What's his name? Josh McCown. No, the other guy. There's one other guy. Bolger, Mark Bolger. Oh, Mark Bolger, yeah. Yeah. He got hurt. So number 28 of the Celtics is Michael Liu, first year player. Ball down, go boom. Ribeiro. Bobby Skane, the center who likes to shoot them threes. Not much for dribbling. Matt Emanuel. <laughs> oh, that could be a foul. Oh, that was legal. Was that legal? Never had control. That was, ball was loose. He's all excited. He tried to get it inside. Weiner going by himself. Rashawn Vaughn, good play. Oh, Went to Rashawn his left. Vaughn played great defense. Good defense by the Sixers right there. <laughs> Sorry for that glitch. Are we back on the air? We're back on the air. Are you plugged in? Everything's good? We're all, all right, good. we're back on the air. We have a timeout by the Celtics. Magic losing his mind. Everybody here in the booth losing their mind. That Small kid was glitch with his mind. Joshua McCown come flying into the table. How are you going to see the ball go out of bounds knowing you got no chance for it and going to dive at the equipment? You scared the living daylights out of me. Well, I don't care about that. Well, and and then and then not even to take you out. I mean, just, I know, just take out the equipment. <laughs> at least take you out. You're yeah. replaceable. The equipment isn't. <laughs> we can find I somebody to stand on the chair. But in almost his defense, it looked like a decent steal, but he stepped on the line. A decent save. The ball was still in bounds, but he wasn't. But the Sixers did score another basket. Yes. It's a five-point game. Making the Celtics call the timeout. They have one left. These two. McCown is the second version of the wild one. The wild one. Paul Caroyan, years back on the Pistons. Vaughn with a three. An ill-advised shot. Should have never put that up. Ooh, that's a carry. Got away with that one. Stain. No, no, no. Michael Lou for a triple. Michael Lou, L U U. Eric Ribeiro dribbling a little too much. Did they call a timeout? Sixers did. I know the Magic. Yeah, but the yeah, but yeah, the, he credited the Celtics with a timeout. Magic tried to call that timeout. Magic tried to call that timeout, and his player did not have the ball. Atlas Settle didn't even have the ball. But, the player was calling the timeout. Uh, anyways, the Celtics have been credited for the timeout for not because they didn't get the ball. Well, they got one left. So they did not retain left. possession. They have none left. Yes. That was all three. Oh, they used three already? One before you got here. Oh, really? That's a bit different. Magic has Magic has finally learned the clock, the concept of clock and tell. Now he has to learn the concept of when and why to use timeouts. Yes. <laughs> first was the clock and tell for the for the first few seasons. Now it might be the timeouts the next few. Well, you don't think that was a good position to use a timeout if your player is going for the ball? I'm going. Sertle using his speed. <laughs> and he protected the ball too going up. A Festivus miracle in that nice ball. play. He used the glass and they're setting picks the Sixers. Now the Sixers just aren't even looking where they're passing the ball. Oh, what's he doing? Kenny LaFosse trying to dribble without getting control of the ball. Sixers are playing with a lot of L.O.T. right now. A lot of them are Yeah, lack of talent. Yes. Sorry. Kenny LaFosse just yelled back at his coach, so he's coming out. You know, Cliff won't take that stuff. Nope. Magic may, but Cliff won't. Matt Chabelli in the right place, right time. What I think really happened with the, with the Joe thing and the Celtics, once Cliff left, Cliff was the peacekeeper. There was no peacekeeper left. So Joe said, I can't Ooh, stay Big foul by Cyril.
She's the wild one. The next radio. Ooh, another ill-advised shot. They're not looking. They're just turning and firing. Skein with the height. Chabelli trying to do a football move. They both saw that one. Both officials saw that. Oh, yeah. It ain't fourth and one. You don't have to charge in like that. Speaking of fourth and one, how about those Patriots? Damn good game. Tom Redford. No, not Tom Redford. I'm sorry. Tom Redford's a Sonic, ain't he? Cliff Williams yelling timeouts. No, that was Kevin Leonard. Kevin Leonard, that's right. I think they're all out of timeouts, both teams. Eh, who knows? I know the Sixers have caught at least. They have watched Steve Wright since day one, so they're using him. A little too quick, but Celtics up 12 points. I don't know why they're panicking and they're rushing. They got a big lead. They should just relax with it. I'm here with a newly Laker, Joe Armstrong. Joe Armstrong, say something to the people. Newly acquired Laker. Oh, Maul and Access. Um, great, great to be a Laker. I'm glad I left the Celtics. I'm on a better team now, even though Celtics currently be in the Sixers, but I don't see them going to the playoffs. The reason why I get traded Lakers is because they're a playoff contention team. And that was as much LOT as I've heard in a long time. These Celtics are, in my book, the second best team in this league, followed by the, uh, leading by the Bullets. Wow. Who said that? Newly oh. acquired Laker. That new no. acquired Lakers said the Celtics aren't even going to the playoffs. No, Andy said that. I said the Celtics are the second best team in this league. Oh. I'm never letting you talk on mic again, Joe. That was just awful. Hey, you think you're good? <laughs> you said some stupid things over the years. Hey, at least my catchphrase is what was that? Well, he ain't got much going for him either. That's why he's not here today. <laughs> yeah, you don't have a catchphrase. What was that? But he's been trying. He's been trying to steal a lot of them. Yeah, he has. Don't let him win that tap. He's going to win that tap. And we got 20 on the sixes. He's going to bite his ankles if he doesn't win the tap. Nope. Bobby got it. Is that Kevin Leonard? That was Kevin Leonard. Bonus. We had a one on one. Now, Ill advised foul right there. I'm glad you brought up curses, Andy. Did I just bring up curses? Yeah, uh, yeah you did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> now, we're here watching this game between the Sixers and the Celtics. Yes, I know that. And on the um, around the rim, the widely advertised and watched show, the best watched access TV basketball show in all the land. I agree. Uh, there were curses that were brought up from 2001 to 2000, no, I'm sorry, from 1991 to 2001, it was the King's Curse. From 2001 to 2004, it was the Bullet Blues. From 2004 to 2005, just one year, it was the Lake of Laps. Now we are upon the Six of Sorrows. <laughs> from 1997 to present. The question is on the front page of the website, mnbl19.tripod.com. You can go to the front page and it says it. Will the Sixers break their curse? What will happen? Will the Lakers repeat? There's all sorts of things on there. There's an email you can send it to. Give your, your, your views. Your views will be posted on the website. Post your name. As Bobby Skane drives the home, rocking number 21 this year. Bobby Skane, little hidden note, has been suffering from some injuries. Bum ankle. Ooh. Ooh. That was a definite foul on Matt Chabelli. He's just throwing people around. McNown is hurt. Either that or he's just really happy. He's, he doesn't know. <laughs> hey, if he doesn't know, then we don't have to know. He's at the line. Shabelli throwing the shoulders, dropping the arms, dropping the elbows. 
He's out there playing football. No good on the one and one. Matt Emanuel, a little confused. Why'd he just stand there? Because he forgot what basket he was shooting at, plain and simple. L-O-T. Why is that so hard when people Why is he, to remember I don't understand doing. people who dribble backwards. Good hustle by Ribeiro. Emmanuel for three. Matt Emmanuel. Thought it was going in, thinks he's Larry Bird. He made three of those yesterday. Started running the other way. Now look what happens when you run the other way. You let up a <laughs> basket by Michael Lou. Now that was a what was that? <laughs> yeah. He didn't even use the backboard. He didn't even look. Oh my God. Soccer style throwing. Yeah, someone should tell him never to shoot outside. Oh, that was. Oh, now, Hattie, Emmanuel, now that would have been, that would have been pretty if he used the threes. glass. Why are they trying to live on threes? They haven't come close. There you go. Give it to the man. Give it to the man possessed. He's got the devil inside of him. Now the reaching foul. Another one on Leonard. Luis Sanchez coming down to visit. You know he can't play. Ain't he better not play? Hey, it's the first time he's been early his whole career, and, he's, and he graduated. That is true. He finally figured out how to read the schedule. Yeah. Well, he is wearing his glasses. He does look smart. When did the score get to 35 and 19? When the Celtics kept scoring? Uh, I'm just saying, when did it happen? Let me get ready to get in position. It happened in the last Brad. minutes. These things going. Thank you, Brad. Well, you asked when it happened. The last four minutes it happened. Josh is now just lowers his shoulders. McCown. McCown. Josh Like the the quarterback, Josh McCown. Are you taking him off? Yeah. I'm hearing some dissension. Makes the first up two. And the little man goes in, David Basari. David. My favorite kid. Oh, I see David Basari. Magic's favorite player, David Basari. Second. Oh, oh, I got you. Brad, were you were you here when we saw the jump between the? Oh, Liberty? that was a travel. No, it was uh, nice Kevin tap Leonard. in by Skin. It Skin. was Kevin Leonard and uh, the little guy. Masari. Masari, they had jump up. That's and, uh, nice. That's you call it, the uh, jump to the Lilliputian. Uh, that's a gull of a travel thing if you know anything about history. I know it's history. There you go. I, I read that story last year. One of my favorite stories. You read it last year. It's been out 25. I know it's been out. I thought you were like 40 years old. It's been 25 years. It's out forever. Oh, oh! He called that. Oh. Emmanuel tapping it back and oh. Matt Emmanuel, fighting. the beast. He was fighting for it. He got it to fall. Want to be forced right? That's not good for him. Oh. A reach in by Skane, who's hobbling. Stupid fouls. But Matt Emanuel's line. I may be double bonus now. Matt Emanuel's quicker than his size. He's a lot better. He's probably the best pitcher there is. For me. Um, I, think, I think he's a little bit better than Kane Lamar. Mike. Mike. Because he's got range in the shot. Fossey doesn't. Yeah, and he doesn't have an attitude like a Fossey. He just smiles a lot. He's a very pleasant person to be around. He's a happy guy. Oh, that's a carry. That's a carry that got away with one. Why not again to the left? 41 to 23 with 19 seconds. Look at Magic and Cliff going at it. Magic and Cliff having words. He leaves the camp and look what happens. The hoop and the hum. We're going to talk about those alleged uh, carries right before the half. Sub going in. Going to pull his pants up. Stupid drone. I don't see a number eight on the Celtics. David, 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 
I'm going with Richard Dwyer, even though he's, there's no number eight on my sheet. Tell him to pull his pants up. They're over by his back of his knees. Number eight, we've got the ball. Oh, look at that. <laughs> got Richard Dwyer. At the half, it's 43 to 26 in favor of the Celtics. Before I give this mic over to Brad, I just want to let you guys know something. You can dribble the ball like this. As long as your hand stays on top of the ball, you can dribble like this. If you can make it up and down the court like that, bless you. Without it getting stolen and you look like a complete idiot, bless you. It's once you put your hand under the ball. Once you do this, that's what they call the caddy. Or on the side. Either one. It has to stay completely on the top. I hear you. But uh, right now we have a 43-26 Celtics trying to get a little revenge from yesterday, looking for their first victory. And the little people, the unknowns, the people that are not expecting for the Celtics to be scoring, are scoring. Celtics are swinging around that ball. They're staying in that press. They're going to live and die by that press. I think it's too early in the season to put in that press. I think you do not need to put in the press on this Sixer team. They have a sizable lead. They need to take off the press. But neither you nor I are uh, coaches of the Celtics. The Sixers, you have to get, Ken Foster has to get it through his head that he has to be involved. He has to stay on the floor. The biggest man on the court. He can't be a hothead. He's the tallest man on the court, but the biggest man he's a man. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Fucking height. He, he has to, he has to, um, he has to keep his cool. He has to know where he's at on the offense. They need some offense out of him this year, Brad. They do. Gone, gone or, gone or uh, Papagallo. Gone is, is Dan Suites, McKenzie. Gone is, a, you know, those guys right there, all, all those guys can score. So gone are all those guys. So Emmanuel and LaFosse are going to have to pick up the scoring pace. And until he gets that to his head, it's going to be a long season for the Sixers. And he needs to zip it. When his coach says something, he can't yell back at the coach. Well, there's only five minutes left. I don't know what that meant, but Cliff Williams yanked him right out of the game. With the coach. When you begin to disagree with the coach, the player's going to lose every single time. Every single time. He'll have to come off that court. But for Bradworth, Nesta, and Andrew, we'll see you in the second half. We're going to have a few minutes. Might go get some vittles. You should come on down. Fairway School, we're here. Happy New Year. Celtics up big. See you in the second half. <laughs> It's a little chilly in here. My sweater, it's, uh, I'm good. Uh-oh, I see a Rogers sighting. I see a Rogers sighting. Oh, I've seen. I see a Rogers family sighting. I see several Rogers. Oh, there's a lot of Rogers here for that Rogers battle. I see several Later on Rogers. today, unfortunate news for the Kings is that one of their Rogers that's playing was on the phone talking to Mama Rogers with news that, that no ducats. <laughs> with news <laughs> that ain't favorable to the money. Kings camp. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Mr. Oh, I got that. I got that. No problem. I'll have it. Why not to the left? A manual for three. Takes oh, it. Ice cream. He knew it. He started walking the other way. Cliff Williams smiling. And they stole the ball. It was the Fosse that stole the ball. Turned it right back over. Why is he giving him his left? Oh, he passed him. He had his shot. His shot. Got all the travel. There you go. Good call by Costa. That good was a good call. call. But come down. Who's that lefty? Was that uh, Wino? Drew Wino. Drew Wino went all the way to his left, committed in the air, and then passed it off. And he hasn't seen a pass that he hasn't liked. That he he That's, he's on fire. Was that two? That, that was two. two. He's feeling it. Somebody had to step up for the Sixers. Well, it goes off Skane. And Magic on the timeout. Another timeout for Magic. Now, this is what I was talking about. My Brad, listen to me. And quickly, if I'm wrong. You just quickly, if I'm wrong, brother. I will try. Okay. You played less than two minutes. Yes. In the second half. Yes. You're up by an even dozen. Not a Baker's dozen, which is 13. That's true. An even dozen. Even. Would you waste a timeout? 
In my opinion, I would not waste the time out. You are correct, sir. Okay. I would not waste the time out. I don't waste the time out. You gotta you at least let five minutes go by. You know, get the, either get five them minutes back or to warm up. Either there. five minutes or if they cut the lead down to within five or six, then call a timeout because then right. you panic. Right. But when you're up by a dozen, I mean, come on, the six has only scored five points, Brad. They only scored five on the ends of points. That's true. And they're up. They were. I just want to make sure that just wasn't. About? I just want to make sure that just wasn't me. I know no, it I wasn't you. I, I know I don't coach. Was thinking the same thing. I know I don't coach this program, but. Are we sensing a repeat of performance of yesterday, in which the Celtics only made two points the whole quarter of the third? I don't know, but there's a lot of sixes flying around, and Celtics are falling. They must have had a sip of Cliff Williams Kool-Aid because they come out beats and rhymes. They got a reach in on Weiner, I believe. When you play in this league, Brad, you just got to have the confidence that you're going to get out there and win every game. And this is a very young season, first cable cast game. But you got to have that winning attitude. And never say die. If you can save the ball, you save the ball. Ah, uh, that would be you. Big board by LaFosse. That's what I was talking about. I know you probably missed that. I, I did. I, Andy Ken trying LaFosse, to talk to me Ken no, LaFosse, no strong side rebound, turn around, put it right back in. That's what I was talking about. Ken LaFosse does need to step up. Magic is about to blow his top. They turn over the ball. Again. Well, it's down to 10. They were up by like, um, they were up 17, I believe, at the start of the half. They were up at 17 at the start of the half. You would be correct. Emmanuel wants that three. He's feeling it. Tough pass. Kevin Leonard. Good rebound. Weiner got position. Chris Rogers has entered the building smiling. He must have ate. Didn't bring me none. Ooh, double block. The first one was smacking with the flesh. I heard smacking with the flesh the first one. The and second Shibelli one was, knew it himself. He's mad. The second one was clean, but that first one was smacking with the flesh. Shabelli's mad. And he bumped him. Yep. Shabelli's angered. Thus, thus far, the third, thus far the third period hasn't been a offensive period for the Celtics. Nope. Yesterday, yesterday's game, they only scored two. Oh, LaFosse forced it. They but he went. He followed his shot, Brad. That he did. Got the rebound, kicked it out, That's and they're swinging ball. the ball around. Another he got three. away with some baby steps. He got fouled. But he's right there for the rebound, LaFosse. That's what he should be. He sat down that whole second no. quarter. No, you call a timeout, Brad. <laughs> now, because it's under 10. Yes, yes, now. Like I said, you got to wait at least five minutes. They're at, they're at four. Now you, call, now you call a timeout, but he can't call a timeout right now because that's, but if you don't call a timeout right now, that'll leave one timeout for the rest of the game, and you can't do that. A three-on-one situation. They're giving up the ball. Give and go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Clear, look at Clear Williams. Clear Williams. He's calling out magic. He's calling him out. Oh, the Celtics are the Diddy. Bobby Skane has two pair. That hurts. He's got 19 points. The, four. The Celtics, the Celtics so far, the Celtics so far have played 15 minutes of third period of basketball and only scored two points. Coming yesterday, none thus far today, Brad. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Brad, I turn around, there's Rogers all over the place. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Here are Rogers, there are Rogers everywhere, Rogers, Rogers. <laughs> Greg Rogers, Donnie Rogers, Chris Rogers, Gladys Rogers. Is Gladys here? Rogers, I've never seen him before. <laughs> <laughs> the Sixers are just wanting it more right now. They're wanting it more. Oh, Wayne with the, the left. Overthrow oh, that he didn't hit a dog on thing. Oh, he stepped on the line. A little piggy stepped on that line. Good effort by Kevin Leonard. And I gotta tell you, Brad, the Sixers made this an exciting ball game. I mean, they down the first seven. half. They chopped off ten points. Look at Basari. Basari tried to outmuscle Emmanuel. It ain't gonna work. Basari trying to move Emmanuel is like Andy Robinson trying to move Chris Jackson. And we got a timeout, Celtics again. What? I'm sorry, uh, Magic has one timeout left for the remainder of the game. Magic and the Celtics are 24 ticks 
away yeah. from thus far. Pay attention to me, Brad. I'm talking. Go ahead. Magic and the Celtics are 24 ticks away from not scoring any baskets in runtime third period thus far this season. When they scored the two points, it was towards the end. Matter of fact, it was, it was within the final minute of the third yesterday. It was right there. It's right there. So, so this one's mine. That one's yours. That's yours. Well, it was hanging up. Ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. A lot of Rogers here today. I'm What's feeling, up? I'm, I'm feeling up. And they're all on our side. That's a good thing. <laughs> Keep them all over here. <laughs> yeah, he's coach way over on the side. Yeah. The, the Kings are on the left side. <laughs> The Sonics are on the right. The Battle of the Rogers, game one. Oh, it's Rogers. I turn around. I turn around. I see. What just happened is the Celtics fell apart. They decided that they wanted to play run and gun, shoot threes, take it on my own, don't play team ball. Sixes, moving the ball, finding the open man. LaFosse's faking, juking and jiving, getting rebounds, finding position. And Kevin Leonard's just chipping in everywhere he can. Oh, nice fake by Matt Emanuel. Emanuel started the quarter hot. Oh. Kenny yeah, LaFosse started right this. Right. It's a good try by LaFosse. And Emanuel slowed down. LaFosse started himself. He started getting hot. Oh, Kevin Leonard has stepped it. up for three minutes. This is what you need. Everyone to step up a few minutes each game. Ribeiro. Oh, and yeah, there's LaFosse right there again. To clean it up. No he glass. Has to learn to use glass. No glass. Skane, or push from behind. Push from behind, two hands on his back. Magic's losing control. He's riding the ref like a clown. He gets a T, the clock stops, because he only got one time out. That was a nice pass. He has no idea how to use the glass. He's killing the efforts. LaFosse's killing the efforts, Brad. Killing the efforts. Kenny LaFosse learned how to shoot layups by Mike McQuaddo. McQuaddo don't use backboard. LaFosse don't use backboard. Get on him. Get on him. Get on him. He got on him. Over the back. Ooh, Magic's riding him. Out of control. Little stressed out. He's up seven. He's still got plenty of breathing room. But his Celtics got to pick it up. They should slow it down. Vasari for three again. He's 0 for 2 this quarter. Oh, uh, came all the way for nothing. Oh, that was a horrid shot. I'm sorry. I don't know if you call him like that, but that was a bad shot. Emmanuel trying to jump, but just doesn't have the leaping ability that Skane has. Ribeiro. Magic's going to be on the receiver end of the Oh, no call goal. there. The Sixers are playing eradicated ball, but that seems to work. Basami with the interception. I don't know how the Sixers missed that one. Oh, LaFosse tried to get it, but Skane got it. Skane matches his jersey number. He's got 21. That's six points and three. And almost 20 minutes of third period ball for the Celtics thus far. Four points. There were 43. I'm talking about season. I said season. Oh, so you, I'm you, sorry. you didn't hear what I said. I said 20 no. minutes of third period thus far this season. Well, you know the altitude up here, I, my hearing, the ears pop. Watch you can't you ever just take responsibility for your own altitude. I did. I said I couldn't hear. Oh! oh. oh. They let the call go. He missed. <laughs> He found the open man. It's going to be a touchdown. No, he blows the bunny. He blows the bunny. Goes the other way. Runs away from the ball. Number eight of the sixes. Let's get his name so everybody knows him. Number eight is Brad Gabarino. He can't have my name. Ga, 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 Gabarino. Ga, 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 Gabarino. Gabarino. (laughs) Rocket of the (laughs) rolling. That was welcome back, Carter, from all you <laughs> Most of these people weren't born then, Brad. No, they weren't. I said I got you. Yeah, I rent them on DVD. That's what I do. We're still young bucks. And you're blowing up. What's up, player? Oh. Oh. 
47-38, minute 20 to go in the third. The buzzers are flying. McCown out again. Mumbling to himself. Emmanuel bringing the ball up. He's got to look. Got to find his team. Oh, they got a weak side wide open. Ribeiro just didn't even reach for the ball. This is helping the Celtics get their momentum back. The Sixers owned them the first seven minutes. Why not left? Oh, that's a travel. Michael Lou over to Basari. Basari hits one. Now, if he realizes he hits the two and he's missed three threes, Sense would tell you shoot another two. You don't need a three. Skane doesn't have the ankle power to keep running. A reach in by Ribeiro, and I think he's in foul trouble. Nice move, but Drew Weiner, that's his spot. Well, whatever it was, that was his spot, and the Celtics jump back up, 51-38. 13-point lead. They got it down to, I believe, six or seven, the Sixers did. And now they're just throwing the ball away. They've lost all momentum for two minutes. He's got to shoot it. Weiner gets it to go. I have to go find out what happened with the Sixes. I'm going to check that. I'm going to see what happened to motivate the Celtics the last two minutes. I, I, I just got to go. You got to go. Brad, why don't you just get the hell out of here? Yeah. <laughs> Fine, I'm leaving. Bye. Taking this black jacket with me. Change my name. Well, at the start of the fourth, that quarter, that period was definitely a Sixers period. The last couple of minutes of that period, the Celtics were able to add some pointage, but it certainly momentum certainly has swung the Sixers' way. Certainly has swung the Sixers' way, and this game is far from over. Hopefully, the Sixers can maintain that energy. They are certainly well within reach with 10 minutes to go. There's a whole heap of lot of basketball left to be played in this game. 53 to 38. Celtics up by 15. Swinging the ball. That's he got the pass and ducked. Basari. Oh, he trapped. He trapped. Yeah, trapped. No, because he went from one place to another too quickly. We 
you slap the backboard, kiddies, that's the technical. Yep. I don't think he scored, but the basket would count if he did score. But I don't think he scored. He gets, he gets two shots and possession, technical. points better are the Celtics make that 20 are the Celtics better than the Sixers
I'm actually over here daydreaming about number 21, 22, no 21, yeah that's Gain. is going to get himself a technical. He's pushing the limits. And yet there's another Rogers at the house. We're waiting. Happy New Year. We're waiting for Gladys Rogers to come at the house. Now, now I think the set's complete. Now I think the set's complete. All the Rogers over here. All the Rogers. You hang a left, you'll see every last Roger that has ever been born. Right down there. Celtic swing in the ball. Serta with the outside shot, back rims it. Lafazza comes down with the rebound, gets it quickly stolen for his efforts. Volleyball. Taking the three letters. <laughs> and the Celtics, the Celtics reach the 60 point mark today. I think the magic man wants to be on the receiving end of a technical. Action, action. Butterfingers. I think Magic fainted. Just gonna use the timeout.
Magic using timeout up by 15 points with one minute and 32 ticks left to go. Uh, by 15 points, and you can tell that he was in jeopardy of losing this game. That's why he called that timeout. There's only thing that makes sense to me. We're just prolonging this agony. Like I said, he's got the clientele pot. Now he has to learn when and most importantly why you call a timeout. You know, you don't call a timeout to punish the cable cast booth. We didn't do anything to this. <laughs> we didn't do anything to have this game prolonged. I agree with you 100%, Master. Oh. This but game you know, for about 10 minutes was very interesting, and now it's just, oh. Uh, it was a very damn good third period. Just broke down at the end towards the third period as far as the Sixers were concerned. Sixers had a couple little sparks here going in the fourth, but this game is well underhand. All the Celtics have to do, Andy, is just eat up the clock, go into the shade, play corners. That's all you got to do. Go into the shave. As when you come down and want to fire it up, jack it up every chance you get, that's when trouble happens. But just go into the shave, just eat up the clock. Take home the W. <laughs> Instead of holding on to it, just get off the dribble, just swing it around, chew up that clock. That's what needs to happen, but it ain't happening. This game's still going on. <laughs> It'll be going on for 77 more ticks. Regulation. I'm already in pain. I feel like a wounded horse. I wish somebody would just shoot me. Let me get in a position. There's obviously some there's obviously some type of penalization when that particular six of player scores. Oh, oh my he loves him. I smell another two suicides! <laughs> that caused the that caused the two more suicides! <laughs> Fifteen point three ticks away from wrapping this game up. Two ticks. The <laughs> Lafosse off our nose puts it on the floor. Why are they calling this late in the game? 
Two ticks. They go. We just cannot end this game quick enough. We got two ticks left to go. The Celtics will improve. The Sixers will fall. Oh, I don't never rag on the men with the black and white striped shirts. High five. At the end of regulation, this game finally over. The Celtics will improve to one and one. They are 15 points better than the Sixers by a score of 70 to 55 for Bradworth Benton, Andy Robinson. This is Nessa Deli saying we'll see you at the games.